Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, I'm here today at RIA taking a look at a 9mm C96 broom handle mouser. But this is not your ordinary 9mm, this is not 9 parabellum, this is 9 by 25 mm mauser export. That is a cartridge that Mauser developed because when they introduced the C96 pistol, they realized some people might not be happy with the relatively small diameter bullet that it would fire. So as originally introduced, the C96 used the 7.63 by 25 mm Mauser cartridge. It's a bottleneck cartridge, it's relatively high velocity, it's actually a pretty darn good cartridge. The Russians would go ahead and use it uh, with a little bit hotter powder charge as the 7.62 Tokarev for many decades. However, uh, there were people at the time who simply judged a cartridge by its bullet diameter, the US and Britain being two of them. Uh, and so Mauser decided to offer the gun in a larger diameter chambering for those people who might be tempted by that instead of the 763. So what they did is they took the bottlenecked case and they just straight walled it and turned it into 9 by 25 mm instead of 763 by 25 mm. This allowed them to put in, of course, a larger, heavier bullet and a, a larger powder charge to match. So this was going. This was something that was offered as an option. Uh, it was actually part of the 1904 German pistol trials, uh, which is where the nine mm Parabellum would be first uh, actually adopted by the Germans. So if you're thinking, well, why didn't they just go to nine Parabellum at this point? It's because basically that cartridge was just as proprietary as. Mauser's own 9mm. So there was no reason to use it. It wasn't the standard that it is today. Uh, so uh, let's take a quick look at this. Let me show you how this differs from a regular C96, because it's really subtle. All right, so we have the pistol. We also have its shoulder stock. Uh, this stock is actually numbered to the pistol, 163 there, although clearly the stock uh, has seen far worse wear than the gun has. These were made in small numbers and sporadically. And so they appear, we actually know the, the various places where they appear in the serial number range, and there's four different spots. You'll find them in the 28,000 range, the 78,000 range, 88 to 90,000, and that's where this one is. This is 89,163. And these specifically have an A suffix after the serial number, presumably to indicate the different cartridge, but that suffix only is used in this specific serial range. And then the last handful of them appear between 176 and 180,000. The rest of the markings are pretty, well, are entirely standard uh, for pre-war C96 Mausers. So we have a blank side plate there. Waffenfabrik Mauser Oberndorf am Neckar on the, the right side. The sights go up to 1,000 meters, as is typical. And this is an area where Mauser was really clever with their cartridge design. They wanted to make sure that the two versions of the pistol, 7.63mm and 9mm, were as similar as possible to minimize the, require, the need for different tooling. And so by developing both cartridges to have effectively the exact same muzzle velocity, that means they have the same drop. Uh, the ballistic coefficient of the two bullets, I don't have the actual numbers, but they're close enough that there's no substantial difference in their trajectory. And since they start at the same velocity, the cuts for the rear sight um, uh, travel are exactly the same for both pistols. So this one is actually 7.63, this one is our 9mm, and they are, the sights are completely indistinguishable from each other, which makes great sense on Mauser's part. It's a little annoying when you're trying to distinguish between the two guns. The barrels are the same diameter on the outside. There's a little bit of variation here because the 7.63 example I have is a 1930s gun as opposed to a pre-war gun, but the external barrel, diameter, barrel diameters are effectively identical. So this raises a legitimate question of how the heck are you supposed to tell a 9 export broom handle? Well, obviously you can look at the muzzle diameter, um, and you can tell, or the bore diameter, and you can tell that it's a 9mm gun. But then there is one distinctive element. As originally produced, the 9 export broom handles have this little cutout divot in the follower. So that's our 9. Here on top is a 7.63 gun, and you'll see it has a flat follower there. Uh, now the, they're the same size, so the followers can interchange, so you don't necessarily always 
find these in the 9mm guns, but you should. They were originally there. And that is the single visible uh, difference, aside from the barrel, uh, for a 9 export gun. So if you run into a 9mm, you know, if it appears to be an attacked gun, there is a. This is something that you will definitely want to look for. Uh, the the number of conversions, like rebarrelings to nine parabellum, uh, can make this a lot trickier than it would have been as the guns were originally produced from the factory. Now I talked to Mauro Baudino about this at the Paul Mauser archive, and based on the record book and order books uh, that survived from Mauser, it looks like something like 150. 9mm export chambered C96s were manufactured. That's it. These were never adopted by a military force. They were never sold in any substantial numbers. The cartridge would go on to be manufactured for a while because uh, it, it turned out to be a pretty darn good heavy submachine gun cartridge. And uh, the Austrians, the Swiss, and a few other people here and there would actually use 9x25 as a submachine gun cartridge. But for a pistol, it's just more powerful than anybody wanted, and it never caught on with the C96, so it never really went anywhere. Mauser did also offer it, or use it, as a chambering for a few other guns, like the, the Mauser 0608 pistols, which never got past the prototyping stage. So you don't really see it, you, you see it turning into a submachine gun cartridge, and it never took off as an automatic pistol round. Um, it is interesting, uh, Mauro's book uh, on the Paul Mauser archive has uh, the copy of a letter that Mauser actually wrote to the Württemberg State Police trying to convince them to buy the C96 in 9mm export uh, uh, chambering on the basis that, well, you have a pretty rural state, and uh, so your, your police constables need to have something that can function as, you know, a pistol and also as a carbine. And when you put on the shoulder stock and give it this nice powerful 9mm cartridge, it's basically a small carbine, and so it'd be perfect for you. Uh, Württemberg did not end up actually purchasing them. But that's the sort of thing that Mauser was trying to get at um, with, with this offering. Uh, it was first introduced in the first couple years of the 1900s, like 1902. Like I said, it was in the 1904 German pistol trials. Uh, they were offered until 1914. After World War I there was no further production or, or use of the, the 9x25 cartridge by Mauser. Uh, with 150 made, obviously they're very scarce today. So uh, pretty cool to get a chance to take a look at this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.